So let's talk a little more about the shader loading, right? Currently we specify this num uniform buffer and num samplers when we load the shader. And this is something that we are currently hard coding because we know that our shaders have a specific set of buffers and samplers. And um, while this is fine, generally what we could also do is have the shader cross shader compiler provide us with this information so we don't have to actually hard code it. Now, how to achieve that is basically specify a another shader crossed output format, which is JSON. So if we do exactly that and build, then we can actually see now in our shaders uh, here the JSON files, which contains this information. So samplers, storage textures, storage buffers, and the uniform buffers. And this is the information that we exactly need to pass here to the create GPU shader. So if we take a look at the create shader info, uh, it's exactly these four fields. So what we can do is simply read this JSON file, uh, deserialize it and uh, basically get this value from that. Uh, now, how do we do this in Odin? Well, in Odin, there is a package called core encoding JSON and it's pretty magical because what it allows you to do is provide a structure and it would deserialize uh, using the reflection uh, into that structure. So this is pretty neat for our case. So what we can do is of course just open the JSON as a reference and just design the structure. Let's call it something like shader info or something and basically we have samplers field right that would be u32 right because ultimately what we want to do is of course pass this into the create gpu shader which expects u32 so it makes sense to already serialize it as u32 right then the storage textures which is another u32 storage buffers which is another U32, and of course uniform buffers, U32. Now we can simply write a function to load the shader information. So load shader info procedure. So that would maybe take uh, this shader file, the shader file value, right? Because that kind of makes sense. Uh, we can just concatenate a JSON extension to it and that's what we are gonna do. That would be just a string of course and that would simply return the shader info, right? Something like this. Now we need to create the file name for that using the um, JSON extension. So we say just JSON file name is basically concatenations of a shader file and the JSON extension, right? Easy as that. Uh, yeah, we can maybe use the tempo locator for that, of course. Then let's read this file. So JSON data and whether it was okay. OS read entire file from file name. This sounds good. So we say JSON file name. Temp allocator, this is all temporary, right? Yeah, we can maybe assert that it was indeed okay. And finally, what we do is uh, parse the JSON. So we prepare a structure that we will return something like result shader info. And then we simply use the function called JSON unmarshal that takes the data, so JSON data, then uh, the pointer to the type that we want to unmarshal, so that would be our result. Uh, specification is the default one, so the valid JSON. Uh, there are some more specifications like relax JSONs and whatnot, uh, so this is pretty nice, but uh, for us we don't care because uh, Shader Cross generates standard valid JSON, right? And then for allocator, we can simply use the context temple locator once again. 
let's take a look. I again forgot to wrap this uh, in a slice syntax, so let's do exactly that. So here we just return the result as is, right? And maybe we should check if the error is not nil um, because that would return us an error. So maybe we can do the same stuff like error is this and then we just assert that the error is indeed nil. So this looks good enough. What we can do now is simply load the info like info load shader info and pass the shader file to that and now what we do is simply use the uh, info directly from that right info and just for the uh, sake of it we can also provide the uh, num storage buffers and textures even though we are not using it right now so num storage buffers equals info storage buffers num storage textures equals info storage textures like that seems to work just fine as you can see and now we can simply just remove the arguments from the load shader right and so um, this stuff can all be removed now let's take a look. Look, we simply remove this. So. You see, it still works, and our shader loading is much much simpler now because everything is uh, contained within two files: so the shader itself and the JSON with some metadata. Now, uh, in future, I would like to explore actual uh, dynamic shader compilation, maybe using the shader cross, because shader cross can be also used as a library. Uh, including the shader reflection and whatnot and maybe it would make sense to actually have some layer that um, uses all this information and generates um, for example uniform buffer structures for you or a vertex layout but uh, this is something more advanced and I'm not sure that's uh, really worth exploring because this is very project specific yeah I think that's it for now so stay tuned